Hey, everybody. Hello, hello, everyone. How's it going? Everyone who is joining us, whether on a podcast app or on Facebook Live. So if you're watching this on Facebook Live, do us a huge favor, huge, huge favor. Show us your enthusiasm for Outlander. Is it like heart? Do you love it with your whole heart? Uh, does it make you cry? Use those emojis. And if you wouldn't mind taking a moment to network this video with your friends, there's a little arrow button below um, with the letters S-H-A-R-E. I'm not allowed to say it because <laughs> Facebook is then like, oh, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to network Facebook. I'm trying to network. So network this, whether in your own uh, Outlander groups or on your own page. Come on in. My name is Mary Larson. My name is Blake. And we are the podcast host for Outlander Cast, an amazing website if you're brand new to Outlander Cast. Oh, uh, we've got a podcast and blog. And of course, the premiere date for season five of Outlander has recently been announced. It is going to be Sunday, February 16th. And my, my husband Blake and I were saying, you know what we need to do? We need to do a grand rewatch. And in our Facebook community, the Outlander Cast clan gathering, we were asking people, would, would any of you want to rewatch this with us and kind of, you know, just watch it all over? again and a bunch of people said yes so if you're watching us live i want you to go to your television and get up stars or netflix or however you watch outlander whip out those dvds if you're old school because we together are going to rewatch episode 101 sasnak right now right yeah. we're gonna do it right now yeah. like and if you don't have your tv in front of you that's okay you're gonna hear some of the audio uh of the show it will be playing at a low level so don't worry you won't it won't do this but you well, know think yeah. think of uh this as a Ron Moore commentary track but yes. from Mary and Blake. Yes. Now this is not going to be <laughs> highly produced like our normal shows. We're not going to be having all of the intro music, outro music, all that other stuff. We're, if you're listening to this in the podcast app, you're probably like, wow, this sounds different. This is, this, this is weird. Yeah. I mean, we're still in our studio. If you're watching on Facebook Live, you see us in our studio. Welcome. This is, this is it. Hello. Um, but we wanted to do this uh, for everybody that had not gone back yet to go see all of the new, you know older episodes of Outlander and more importantly Outlander cast. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is yeah. trash right now because uh, I've been sick for the past few days. So please uh, <laughs> for, forgive my tra my trash voice. <laughs> Uh, but we wanted to do this for the, the listeners of Outlander cast and for the, everyone that wa just like binged Outlander on Netflix seasons one and two. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this is here for you, too. Uh, we can if you're new to the clan, you're new to Outlander cast itself. You're going to see all of our reactions now live time, uh, just having fun with it and, and enjoying it and uh, having a good time. So, cool. uh, you know. You ready to do it? Yeah. And you know, if those of you who are joining us via Facebook Live, we may be pulling up some of your comments on the screen and reading it oh, aloud yeah. Yeah. to join in this experience together. So come on in. The water's fine. Get your DVDs and your Netflix and your Stars app ready. Pull up a dram. Blake and I are being very boring with our drinks of choice. Ron Moore would be so disgusted. He'd I, be like, you know how he, with his podcast, says says like, oh, today. He's got his whiskey. I'm drinking. I am drinking water. And I'm drinking Coke Zero. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I got to get up wicked early tomorrow. I have to go to a flight to Chicago. And I don't feel like being hung over for the I flight. Keep forgetting that you're going. I know. I know. So, uh, again, if you're listening to this for the first time, if you're listening to the Outlander cast for the first time, this is not how we normally do our episodes. Uh, go back to the previous episodes. You'll see how we normally do it. Uh, again, this is just uh, an inside fun little track that we're doing. And uh, as always, these commentary tracks are meant for our podcast audience. They, that's you, you guys are not left alone. Yes, we will bring some comments in from Facebook Live here, but this is meant to be listened to as a track. Yeah. Uh, so, But for those of you who are here live... With us, awesome! Thank you so much. <laughs> Can't wait. I'm so excited. Yes, yes. All right. So once again, make sure that you've got your videos ready. Yes, we're uh, gonna be. I'll tell you when to hit play. Like we're literally, we have the stars like app. Yes, up right now. Right, ready, rocking to go. And it, we're gonna, we're just gonna hit play right from the very beginning. Our TV, our our screen is right here. So yeah. we thought we'll try this out. If we'll you're see watching, how this a, goes. if you're watching us live, our screen is right below the camera. So. Anne um, McFarlane is drinking water. Dunn is going to go get a drink. That a and girl. Denise is having coffee. Denise, see, Denise and I should be having coffee together. I know, Denise right? is my, my nighttime coffee person. We're sending loads of love to you, Denise. Know that I am cheersing some coffee if I had coffee to be 
be there with you having coffee. Um, Claire says Chicago is having beautiful weather. Enjoy our city, says Claire. Okay, I will. I and will. she's I hope drinking so. some cab. Oh, cab. Oh, okay. uh, some cab. Some you know, cab salve. Yeah. Hey, there we go. I, I, my mind went to tab. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, Claire, where did you get tab? Can I, can I just get a tab? You haven't bought anything yet. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So uh, we're going to give a quick countdown here to uh, five. Well, you know what? Uh, to hit play, okay. To hit play again, right from the beginning. You're going to hear all of the titles. You're going to hear everything you're right from hear the beginning. It all, and we're just going to talk. And what we're going to pretend is that we're all one big happy, cozy family together. Right. Watching this, like you guys, come on over to uh, our neck of the woods, Providence, Rhode Island, <laughs> and watch Outlander with us. That's, because that's we're the hope. Ready at least. for yeah. <laughs> And if this is a hot mess express, we apologize. Yeah, this is our first attempt to doing new. it. So we're going to have fun with it. And you know what? If you like it, I hope you do. And if you don't, well, sucks to suck. At least we tried. At least, <laughs> At least we, we tried. tried. All right. So we're going to be doing this, I think, for a number of weeks uh, up until the premiere, I, I hope. Uh, no, we're not going to do every single episode no. uh, just because we have children. <laughs> and we we're about to hit flu season. What we were thinking is that we're going to do uh, three. We're going to, as a collective clan, Outlander cast clan gathering, try to accomplish to watch around three episodes of Outlander each week. That's what all the math smart people have figured out is that if three episodes of Outlander are watched every single week, we'll approximately be ready to go by the time the season premiere of season five starts. Yes. That being said, we do not want to promise you that we are going to be coming live doing every single episode as a rewatch as Blake said we have or doing every episode even on the podcast yeah yeah we have young kids but what we hope is that we can come in and do a podcast episode a week in that range so this week we are tackling at least episode one we'll see if we right. can if I can convince Blake to do the first three I love all <laughs> of season one so much part A and part B so I was like maybe we'll just do a heck of a lot of this one and uh and like, but there are a <laughs> number of episodes that I want to get to like I absolutely Yes. Wanna, I absolutely want to. I absolutely want to do like um, the Garrison Commander. I absolutely yes. want to do like Wentworth. I, so, I, so we may have a week where like we're like we want all of these, and then we may have a week where we say like next week, for example, we're hoping to cover one of the episodes between one and. Uh, four, four and, and six. six. Yeah. So in addition, in our Outlander Cast Clan gathering on Instagram, Twitter, we are going to be resharing our content from the good old days from when we first started Outlander Cast. Right, right. We're going to be sharing with you the podcast episodes that we did for season one, episode one. You're going to be able to hear the oh. dramatic difference when we that were we talking when we were talking in our uh, our dining room. in our dining room in our yes. old apartment. And I had one baby at the time. My goodness. And any blog posts that we have from our amazing slew of worldwide writers that might be applicable to those episodes. We're going to be sharing with you that content for the three episodes that relate to each week. So this week in particular, you are going to be able, if you're following us here on social media, to see things and hear things about episodes one through three. That's that's the hope. Yes. That's the hope. <laughs> we figure this out. <laughs> Once again, we're tired parents, so we're figuring it as we go along. But I think everyone's gotten their drink. Yep, everyone's got the drink. Everyone's gotten their app up, hopefully. Yes. By the time, if you listen to this on the podcast, hopefully mm -hmm. you've gotten to your TV, you've gotten your phone out, whatever, and uh, you've brought up the Stars app and you you, you picked you, out Sassanac. It's, like, it's like we're uh, sponsored by Coke right here. I know, They're right? not giving us any money. Let's move <laughs> that away. <laughs> All right, so uh, a countdown. We're just going to hit play again right from the beginning. That'll be it. So five, four, three, two, one. Play. Or play now. Play now. There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Those are for people on the Stars app. You'll know that little sound. Yes. Otherwise, on Netflix, it'll be a little different. And we'll have to talk a little bit over the music so we don't get flagged for doing bad things. No, oh, here we are. We're opening. Oh. Opening. Now, see, I wasn't... I was never a big fan of this. And her accent... Well, the accent is weird. Hold on, let me bring it up a little bit higher. Stray from the parents and are never seen again. Wow. Housewives take the grocery money in a taxi to the train station. Which housewife do you know that's done that? Most are fine, eventually. Disappearances, after all, have explanations. Oh. What'd you just do? I hit the I hit the wrong thing. Oh my gosh, guys. Pause. Hold on. Pause hold if on. you're rewatching. Hold on. Hold on. Pause. Pause. <laughs> Hold on. I must see. This is what happens. This is why it's trial and error. Oh, here we go. Here we go. 
Here comes Claire. Yes. Her accent was brutal in the first. You remember. Single images and feelings that stay with you down through the years. A vast. The general store. Like the moment I'd realized I'd never owned a vase. That I'd never lived in any place long enough to justify having such Can a you simple imagine? thing. Can you imagine? Do you guys have vases? And how at that moment, I wanted nothing so much in all the world as to have a vase of my very own. I want that coat of my very own. I know. That's what I it want. It was a Tuesday afternoon, six months after the end of the war. Oh, this is where I have to cover my eyes, guys. All the blood. All, so much blood. So much blood. You're going to have to turn it down because there's going to be like audible yep. squirts of blood going on at this point. <laughs> For those of you brand new to Outlander cast, one of my favorite podcast episodes that we did um, was actually with like the, the, what is it, prosthetics? Yes, Christian Mallet. Christian Mallet, who was able to create all of these squirting arteries. There's so much blood. And he has this great story about this particular scene where he's underneath the table squirting a bag full of blood that yeah. ends up getting on Katrina And, and he overprimed it. <laughs> and so it squirted way too much. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. At what point does her accent mellow out? It like mellows out, I think, like at halfway through season one. Okay. This was when it was the strongest, especially oh, yeah. with the voiceover. It's hard with voiceovers. Oh. That's one thing I don't miss a whole ton. I loved the. Well, I had a love hate relationship. Look at that squirt. Gross. Only Claire, let's be real, only Katrina Balfe could look this stunning covered in blood. Mm. It's over. It's really finally over. <laughs> and then Claire does what Claire does best in season one of, <laughs> of just, Outlander. Just starts Assassin boozing. <laughs> Claire? Says, by the way, this shirt brought to you by the, uh, the, the show, brought to you by the shirt, Sassanac Wasted. I almost wore it tonight. Oh, that would have been a good I'll idea. I wore it next episode. There we go. Yeah, the girl. Keep Swig boozing. Swig it up. Huge shout out to, uh, is it Lisa? Who who does this and yes. does this outfit? Yep. Clan member Lisa. See, oh, she had that model walk in those early episodes. Yes, she <laughs> did. <laughs> yes, she did, Robin. Somehow in my mind, VE Day, the end of the bloodiest and most terrible war in human history, grows fainter with each passing day. The thing I loved about this, about the but war... I can still recall every detail of the day when I saw the life I wanted sitting in a window. I sometimes wonder what would have happened if I bought that vase and made a home for it. Would that have changed things? Yes, Claire. A little bit. Would I have been happy? Oh. Who can say? I do know this. Even now, after all the pain and death and heartbreak that followed, I still would make the same choice. Wow. As are we, Claire. <laughs> As are we. Oh, should we bring up the... I don't... Well, we have to be careful. Well, yeah, you're right. Because Facebook really... is going to be like, are you playing a song that you don't own rights to? That's right, Facebook. Huge, huge shout out to uh, Bear McCreary, who if you haven't been able to watch the documentary, The Score... Oh, great documentary. Is it on Prime? Is that uh, where we watched it? It, it was on Prime where we watched it, yes. Yeah. So Bear McCreary, of course, is the composer... And his wife, Ray Yarbrough, is the vocalist. And what's really cool, for those of you who've only been able to watch episodes one or two of Outlander, is that they changed this opening song. Yep. They changed the lyrics and the instrumentation yep. based upon uh, where the where the season's taking place, you know, which country they're heavily focused in. Um, so this is... But I'm not going to lie. Season one, with the bagpipes... I was. Those of you watching on Facebook Live, let us know what was your what is your favorite version of the Skyboat song? Is it season? Oh God, I think it's the extended version for me. Ooh, okay. That extended version oh, is great. So and I, good. Even these credits when Claire and Jamie walk like riding out into the horse uh, in the big field, mm-hmm. the big green field. Uh, I miss that. Oh, the forget me nots. These shots. Like these title card shots yep. are such a treasure. Um, I just love watching them and being like, "Why are they going to show this week?" You know, it's a little insight into just a piece that they have. Or, oh gosh, <laughs> look at me! I'm like already the music. <laughs> we were in Scotland 
on our second honeymoon. See, without the voiceover, you wouldn't know that. Frank called it. Right? Yeah, unless he said it right then. I'm glad we're on our second honeymoon, honey. Me too, honey. Yeah, and see, that's the kind of exposition that you don't want. So they had Frank is not driving very carefully right there. He yeah, he's like swerve. swerving left and right. <laughs> he's always in the middle of the road. <laughs> Frank, what are you doing, Frank? Get your act together. Are you drinking? There's no lines on these roads. No, these are like country roads, girlfriend. What kind of pantyhose do you think she wore at this point in time? <laughs> Where they kind of had the stitch up the back. Blood. Sure. I think I should know the look of blood by now. Yeah. Where have you been, Frank? Just like all the house next door. There's two more over there. Seem to be surrounded by home that fog. And blood. Perhaps Pharaoh has refused Moses and the spirit of death will travel the streets of Inverness tonight, sparing only those who walk the doors with lamb's blood. You're really being closely thick. I just love the dichotomy. Claire's like, whatever. There's yeah. blood everywhere. And Frank's like, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> this Claire. is kind of weird. <laughs> What's up with these people? <laughs> No place on earth or magic and superstition links into his daily life on the Scottish Highlands. Hey, Mrs. Barrett's bread and breakfast yeah. sign. Also on uh, the Marion Blake store, you can get that. Also covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> that Come shot on, of the wolf. What, what are we doing here? Why did we need that <laughs> weird shot? It's an old custom of this time of year to make such a sacrifice to honor St. Odin. Or he was sainted in the eighth century. You know your no, history. No, oh, nobody Frank, talks like this. Frank. That's the problem. Quite happily stand here holding the board for hours. <laughs> Here's Claire. Like, come on. Okay. I know. Like, come on, you nerd boy. Yeah, what are you doing? I would like to go to the room and eat some chips. She wants to eat something. Ain't chips. Yes. The earth went over Oren's eyes. Look at Claire. She's like fixing her hair, taking off her hat. She's like, honey, I want to get naked. I know, like, please. I don't understand. Just take off your pants right now, will you? <laughs> oh, no. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. fail. Oh, uh, you know, what are we doing here? You touched something. I did. <laughs> Hold on. Bear with me. Bear with me for one Nobody's moment. Nobody's going to ever want to watch these rewatches. What? Oh, it's your phone and it's through the computer. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's the reason why. This this is hysterical. Sorry, guys. We just want to get back to Claire, wanting to get a groove on. Here we go. Well, Halloween is derived from Samhain. Church often took pagan holidays, renamed them Once again, Claire's look right now. She's like, okay, honey. There's so much exposition here. Oh, my God. <laughs> but you need it. You do need it. You... This is episode one. Mind you, That's true. Ghosts are freed of the beasties. They'll be wandering about, free to do good or else. Handsome ghosts. Of course, what would Halloween Samhain be without a good ghost story? Oh, and we have those for sure. I'll show you to your room. She's got such great lighting on her eyes, little catch lights. <laughs> do you know they Before always do that? The war, we were inseparable. I mean, we know this story. But for the next five years, they always put lights so that the eyes are reflected. Yeah, so they show. It's not so it's show. dynamic. Yeah. It's an army tent in the cot in the mud. Laura Robertson says, "Sometimes I feel like I talk like Frank, my poor friends." Before the war ended. <laughs> We, we both love you, Laura. things would return to the way they once were, but they hadn't. Yep. <laughs> Squeaky bed, I love it. From air, from privacy. Do you think the sound carries? Um, I think it's fair to say Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Bear will be kept in praise if anyone used to start a family. Oh. Uh, let's Look how she scoffs there a little bit. Lazy Poor Frank always wanted a family. You'll never manage the next branch in your family tree if you don't show more industry than that. <laughs> oh, Frank's theme. This clarinet. <laughs> we need to find who the clarinet player is of this mm -hmm. theme. <laughs> Jumping on the bed.
She's like, wow, that's She's like, what are you th- I know, like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> One of those things I used to try and remember. Oh, oh the perm. That's the sound of my husband's heart. You know, I remember when we first started out, Lander, how much I really could not stand Tobias Menzies just because of his turn in uh, that show Rome as Brutus. And I, I just hate, I loved to hate him as Brutus. Mm. But now when I look back, I'm like, you know, it's so ridiculous. Why did I hate Tobias Menzies so much? It was so stupid. Cool. I hate to sketch this. Oh, I am. Well, blind. How amazing that he memorized that. Mm-hmm. Um, the brigadier once dressed me down because I drew him the margin of a report for a minister. Yeah. You see, show Frank. Yeah. At least I, I can speak knowingly about the first yeah. book because I read it. He really loves, at least in the show, he really loves Claire. Yeah. He really loves her. And, like, it's awkward. Like, they are obviously talked about it, and the, the kissing here is a little bit awkward. You mean? Yeah. <clears throat> That's what I look like when I'm trying to eat, like, <laughs> Tacos. a piece. Tacos. Uh, yeah. Or a burrito. Yeah, that's, the, yeah, Frank's kiss was a burrito kiss. A burrito kiss. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Oh, there we go. She's like, all right. That's some uh, baby making. Look at that smile. She's like, oh, yeah. Thanks, so thank, thank God I put the camera in the room. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, look at that post-coital smiles. Yeah. yeah. Happy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Frank's passion for history was another reason for choosing the Highlands. But in his erratic driving... There, you see this? You're going to need to know this in four episodes. So make sure you remember it. Not in four. Oh, no. It actually played minutes. in this episode, yeah. <laughs> I'm re-watching this. You see that, Claire? We call that foreshadowing. <laughs> Not that I minded. I was raised by my uncle after the death of my parents. Uncle Lam was an archaeologist. I love this, like, music. (laughs) Thanks, Bear. (laughs) It looks like Steven Spielberg. The generically Egyptian sounds. Steven Spielberg. Yeah, he does look like Steven Spielberg. That's funny. In, like, like prime, like, mid-80s Spielberg. <laughs> oh, there goes Frank driving again. Oh. Mary just did an eye look for this. Yes. this castle, this exact picture. Yeah. His personal genealogy, that is. Mine was botany. How do you feel about these like a keen rusted in old herbs things? Is that like where tetanus comes from? I would imagine. My daughter wouldn't. likes to play so near them at a yeah. local farm. <laughs> Don't let her play with rusty nails. She already got her tetanus shot. That's my clan. If anyone wanted to know my Scottish history, that's right. We I'm a descendant the of the Lairds. We got the book right up there, the Mackenzie book, up in our studio. That's right above. Uh, yep, right next to our Hamilton book. For those watching live. <laughs> in a way. Burying himself in the distant past gave Frank an ability to escape the recent. While I was in the army, Frank had served in London, intelligence, overseeing spies mm. and running covert. Now, this operations. is one of those. So I think this might have been the kitchen. Oh, um, voiceovers that was really important. Like, it's telling you stuff that you would never know otherwise. Correct. Unless they were doing flashbacks. Right. With talking in it. But I like the idea of. Everything's just quiet because that's a natural thing. That you would be no thinking. My ancestor visited this castle, but was within his operational sphere, so it's just possible 
Oh, look at the stuff on his hat. The poor thing. <laughs> Brush that off, Claire. He it's like a worm. Dozens of men behind the lines on secret missions. See, I love this. And most never came back. He didn't talk about it very often. Mm -hmm. I knew it preyed on him. See, I love that. You would never know that. And that's that's an important insight into Frank. Why he's so like, maybe guarded. Gu yes, I was just going to use the same word. Oh, look it's at like, you. It's like we hang out a lot. Guarded. It's like we're married. <laughs> Laura Robertson noticed the eyes blink, so good call on that. Which one? On my eyeshadow look. Oh, oh, okay, good. That shot oh, good. Of Castle Leoc. That a girl. <laughs> yeah. This is the part where it gets awkward when I watch it with my mom. Yeah, no, you, and it, it's almost going to be a tad awkward watching this online with a bunch of people. I mean, it's not like up on the screen, and I'm really like all for Claire and her femininity and like femininity and, <laughs> <laughs> and like knowing what she wants, but not the scene I like to watch with my parents. It's not even like that into it. Mm -hmm. But just watching sex in general with your parents is awkward. No, Am I you right? Don't. You know, one of the things that I've noticed, and we're going to talk about this, I think, throughout the rest of the episode, is that this, the, the first few episodes of Outlander, and really, I think the first season of Outlander, is very cinematic. Great use of light. Like, look at the lights right here, like the windows. White hot. Uh, you know, lighting. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it's just the nice shadowing on their faces. It's it's really dark and damp. You feel like you're there. All this. Nope. But you see that. No shirt, look at this. This shot right here with Claire with the shadowing. Really, it was just a sh it's shadow of Claire. Yes. With the ivy being shadowed. Yep. Shadowed. 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 Oh, hey, girl. And then, like, the light pouring in from behind oh, her, from the top, you know, and just pops of green with the ivy, mm -hmm. you know, and you're, you're going to see this throughout the rest of this episode, where it's almost, it almost has, like, a grain-like quality to it. Mm -hmm. I do believe you left your undergarments Oh, sassy Claire. Vicki Johnson says, watching this episode is awkward even with her sister. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> I would imagine. Frank, you know, hey, you know, man's got a job to do. No, I'm not, I'm not going to bemoan that. Claire will. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Oh. Uh, Facebook, Facebook friends who have no idea what's happening right now are like, what are they even talking about? Well, you just have to tune in one day and see for yourself. That's right. Yes, 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 I found her. Oh, indeed. Uh, let's have a look. You know, I, hey, I've... Is it, is it Walter? Oh, darling, Jonathan, Jonathan Wolverton. I, I've often wondered, Captain like, Arthur would I be this much of a dork, like Army, like Frank is? Even off... Like, you know how I get, like, when I want to, like, do something, I get, like, into it. Yes. He probably acquired while he was stationed here in the year of Would I, like, be, like, seriously into this, something like this on our second honeymoon? Like, like, what are we... I mean, over the past week has paid off. Claire knows part of the like reason he wanted to go here. It's yeah, not it's, like it's they this. went on a holiday vacation to the islands. You know, they didn't go on a cruise ship. Frank was like, you know what I really want to do? Research and have sex. Yeah. <laughs> the war's over and that's what I want to do. <laughs> I'm here to research, have sex, and kick some butt. <laughs> The war's over, so I only got two things left. It only means Englishman, after all, or it must outlander. Diana, the idea behind this is that you get to watch along with us. She's saying that she wishes that she could see with us, so I don't think we can share it. I can't share it live on Facebook. Because you probably get in trouble. So that's why we figured if you could put on the episode, catch up with us, you can watch it along with us. That's right. Or... You can listen as a podcast episode. And mm. and normally on other shows, you would probably be able to show this on Facebook because it's broadcast TV generally. But since this is a pay-per-view thing, I don't think we're allowed to, to show 
and that. Yeah. I just don't. I don't think That's we're allowed to. And I don't want to get in trouble with Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Donna Riddle is from Perth, Western Wait. Australia. Hi, wow. Then, like my grandmother taught me, and her grandmother before that. Drink up your cup. Let's see what we've got here. Have you had your palm read, Blake? No, but I've had I've had a t- my tarot. The, well, not my tarot, but t- my tarot cards read. When? Oh, years ago. Did anything come true? Um, I don't remember. Well, am I going to meet a tall, dark stranger and take a trip across the sea? Because that's what Claire wanted. She actually wanted to go oh, across the sea mm. on a cruise. Do my research. Everything in it is contradictory. <coughs> There's a curved leaf, which indicates a journey, but it's crossed by a broken one, which means stained fruit. Donna chimes in saying, do you know that Mrs. Graham is in a new and Amazon Prime show? Oh, okay. Wow. Of them. And one of them's your husband, if I read the news. I didn't know that. Sure, yeah. There's like, why is everyone obsessed with my hand? Is this like the foot <laughs> fetish thing, but about hands? Like, what's going on? There are likeness to There are patterns, you know? This is a pattern I've not seen before. It's forked. You can't, you have to try a and say the forked with a Scottish mind. accent. Oh, yeah. Well, not easily crossed. And this is your Mount of Venus. Mm. In a man, it means he likes the lasses, but he's a bit different for a woman. <laughs> to be polite about it. Oh, I love it. Your husband is more likely to stray far from your bed. <laughs> <laughs> you, see, you get it? It means you're good at the sex. I think we, I think we need that sound bit <laughs> yeah. for whenever we do talk about. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Oh, Mount so good. Do I have a Mount of Venus? Means two marriages. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, no, you're supposed to go like this because it's got to be high. It's broken. It's broken. Yours is, Yours is forked. The show with... Forked. Oh. The show is called Carnival Row. Oh, yes. I, I, I know of that show. Had a patron. Uh, a prominent and, and powerful man who could protect him from the censure of his superior. Possibly, but it would have to have been someone very high up in the You know, it's funny how, exactly looking back at this, Duke of Sandringham? they... The Duke of Sandringham? Like, they, they talk about all of this stuff, and it's it's just setting up all the characters for the rest of the season. And you're listening, and you're like, you're, you're with Claire. You're like, come on, guys, like... Stop right. talking about all this. What, what's incredible about Claire is how she remembers that. Sure. Claire's so smart. Does any of these conversations feel like a tad forced to you? Like they're just trying to get the information across? Like the whole the Duke of Sandringham and the the, the, the you know the pastor or the priest or whatever he looks at him he's like <gasps> Reverend. Du- yeah, Rep. Sure. They're, it's all the same. He looks at the Duke of Sandring. Like it's never crossed anybody's mind ever again. Like I was, I didn't find it forced in this episode. I find okay. other things sometimes forced, but I didn't find that forced. I want that coat. I want those gloves. Then Lee says, "Sudden realization is Mrs. Graham, who also is also Mrs. O'Brien from Downton Abbey." I don't think so. I think O'Brien is a is different. Because tomorrow might not ever come to pass. But what I didn't know at the time was that tomorrow would prove less important than yesterday. Get it? Because she goes back in time. Oh. Here we go. First one. Jesus, Rachel Roosevelt Christ. (laughs) Who says that? Nobody says that. (laughs) It's fine when you read it, but saying it out loud. Oh. Let us have a moment of si- silence for Ghost Jamie. We see you. Vicky says that it's not really awkward to her. The two of them are just excited by the info. Just go- oh, sorry, 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 sorry. We're having a moment. Oh, with this little bonnet. Oh. Look at this. I can't. I can't wait to find out. If that were me, I wouldn't be like walking up to him. I'd be like, hey, what are you doing? This is exactly what you would say. Dick. (laughs) Gone. 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 (laughs) 
Ooh, the power goes out. You forgot that, huh? Yep. I'm glad we're doing this rewatch. See, like this show, it, it, like the scenes are are, are very cinematic. That the hot lightning light on mm-hmm. on Frank's face. Frank, the whole place lit up by the time you got back. Darling, what's the matter? Frank. You can hear little bits of the uh, the Stones theme there mm-hmm. with the magic. I'm not more sure that I haven't. When he pushed past me, he was close enough that I, I should have felt him brush my sleeve as he passed, but I, I didn't. And I turned around to say something. Melissa Carolyn says, I can't wait to find out about Ghost Jamie, but I think it's going to break our hearts. Because those of you who aren't book readers, we haven't been able to get to this portion Mm -hmm. of why is this Highlander ghost there? Sure. Yes. There's quite a few. It was one in particular. It was a piper from the Bird's Euphemus. Couldn't stand being stuck with a needle. Right. So awkward. exactly that uh, you're asking me, Frank. Well, I saw that chap staring up at you. Oh. I thought he might be someone you'd nursed. Someone who might be looking for you now. To reconnect. Connect. Wouldn't be unusual. It's not unusual. See, everybody gets on Frank for this conversation. I don't. Asking me. What do you mean? I've been unfaithful. Right there. Yeah. How would you think of me, Frank? He's saying it from a place of love. All I meant was in my opinion. It's cool. Yeah. It's not going into a shed, breaking pots. I love you. Nothing you could ever do. See? He's just saying, it doesn't matter to me. Whatever. Past is the past. You know, we haven't seen each other for a long time. Like, this is kind of a conversation you kind of have. This is a natural conversation to have. Yeah. I would have this conversation. Sure. I would probably be bringing it up. You absolutely would. Oh, my God. So. uh, (laughs) (laughs) Let's chat. I agree. I don't find it to be a rude conversation to have. Yep. <laughs> Robin says, but she did have an affair with him. He just accused her a month too early. <laughs> Sex was our bridge back to one another. The one place where we always met. Whatever obstacles presented themselves during the day or night, we could seek out and find each other again in bed. As long as we had that, I had faith everything would work out. Zuck's probably not going to be happy with this portion. With who? <laughs> Zuck. With this portion. Zuckerberg? Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, Zuck. PG-13. <laughs> <laughs> no chest hair. Do you think he shaved it, waxed it, or just is born that way? I think he's born that way. Did he even have armpit hair? Raise that armpit again. Let me see, Frank. Let me check that pit. Raise your hand if you're sure. <laughs> I want to see the witches. For those fellow olds. P.S. They're kissing. Neither brushed their teeth last night. Oh, good point. Look at them. Good point. And they're that close. Whew. And like Frank has a very breathy voice. Yeah, so you'd be like, oh. I do not picture Frank having good breath in the morning. The only the only movie I ever remember addressing that is remember the movie America's Sweethearts. No. The one with uh, Julia Roberts and Catherine Zeta Jones, and Catherine Zeta Jones is the actress, and she falls. She's dating. Uh, they really don't care about the bad breath. They're going to do it again. Yeah, it's true. Sorry. But Julia Roberts covers up John Cusack's mouth with a with a blanket. Aware that Celts made a lot of trips that way. Only the giants. 
See, I'd be down with this on my second honeymoon. Yeah, this would be cool. This, this was this would be a fun little out like. You would wake up this early. Yeah, I would. To do something cool like this, absolutely. Okay. And <laughs> Lee thinks our new T-shirt should be. Let me check that pic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, by the way, this is still, I would say, probably top two most beautiful scenes ever shot in Outlanda. Agreed. The 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 dance of the druids here. We still have to talk over this one, so that way we don't get in well, trouble. I, I, th- with... I think we're gonna be okay. No, this is a song. I'm telling you, man. Ray Yarbrough. But like the whole choreography here, everything is is just is is pretty extraordinary in the way that it's shot. It almost has like this ethereal feel to it. Where like, I think this is. Oh gosh, this is definitely in my top three favorite Bear McCreary pieces. Oh yeah, like definitely top three. I have to sit down and really figure out exactly what order all of them are. But how many of you, if you are on Facebook Live, let me know. What is your favorite piece that Bear's written? Is this in your top three? You can throw up some hearts. Mm. And perhaps they were parading in circles on top of a hill. The hairs on the back of my neck prickled at the sight. Mm. And some small voice inside Even this lading. Mm -hmm. I wasn't supposed to be here. I think a a miss... I was an unwelcome voyeur. Something ancient and powerful. A missed opportunity here in this portion is Claire hearing the buzzing. They don't mention it at all. Well, she's far away from it. Right, but in my opinion, something should have been said here, because when she goes to touch the stones later on... She did get the hair tingle, though. Yeah, but, you know, that doesn't... That's more along the lines of, like, when you're somewhere... And you just, you know, not that dancing. You usually dance with me at this part because <laughs> we're on Facebook Live and I'm just like holding my pretend lanterns in my hand. More than likely, nothing. Yeah. yeah, this is a beautiful scene oh. with the sun rising and everything. And we should wake our kids up to this music. Yeah. <laughs> Rise. Every morning. Rise, Rise children. children. <laughs> <laughs> Clan Lawson. They'll go to college and they'll be like, wait a second. Wait, you don't, you didn't. <laughs> You didn't do you didn't do the dance of the druids every morning with your, your parents. Your mom and dad didn't come downstairs <laughs> holding hold lanterns, lanterns and uh, go <laughs> and holding our arms up to the to the rising sun. <laughs> yep, our poor we children. Didn't, we didn't twirl. Oh goodness, so beautiful. Here we go. Here we go. Now, here's a question for you. What's that? Okay. So, we're led to believe that there's candles inside these things. Mm-hmm, They're mm-hmm, going to be blowing mm-hmm. this out. Yep. How are they dancing around like that with what seems to be some kind of burnable cloth paper? Unless no, it's it was just, protected it's just on protected. the inside. Yeah. I don't know. Like, they, did they schlack it? Do you think the inside No, they of probably just thing? had plastic. Oh, I'd be nervous. I, would, I think that they need to revisit that with a flashlight. <laughs> a flashlight. It <laughs> just looks a little flammable. Just saying. Yeah, like there should be some kind of buzzing here for Claire. She's still a little far away. I don't know. I still feel like she's in the vicinity of it. She should be experienced. At least here at this moment, when they get close to it, she should absolutely... You as the viewer, because you're in Claire's POV for the most part, you should be hearing it here. At least a little like thinking it's bugs or bees. Yeah. Like you should be hearing something. Because when when she eventually goes to touch it, she touches it for no reason. She just does because that's what the plot demands that she do. Oh. Do people like normally wear gloves? Uh oh, hurry up and hide. And why do they think they need to hide? Yeah, like what are they gonna do? Like beat her up? <laughs> You just watched an unwatchable ceremony. Yeah. You must die. Says the girl with the little white ribbon. I know. <laughs> and she just like picks up this random nothing thing. I think it's like another little ribbon. I 
I like how she told her friends, I'll be right back. Yeah, and then she just chills out on a rock. Nope. Liar. You hear this melody again? <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. That's a melody that she hums while she's pretending, while she's like getting dressed. Oh, in yeah, okay, and she's yep, like, I'm yep. just passing the time waiting for the for the guy with the cart and the cheese yep. to come pick me up, my Uber. Sounds terribly exciting. Never. You should have brought me to an island and I know. cruise. And Why sh- didn't we go to St. Martin? <laughs> <laughs> you took me to Scotland. <laughs> In case you can't tell, I'm here for one thing only, sir. I could have been in Barbados now. <laughs> I mean, she's happy. Look at that. Face. Yeah, that's a happy face. She's actually probably kind of like, it's okay because we're still getting to know each other yeah. to have some space. Who puts their feet out of the car that way? Nobody. It, you know who does? Claire. Claire. <laughs> Two feet at the same time. <laughs> It's always, just like always the pointing scene. the toes. Always pointing the toes. Always pointing the toes. That's a Claire thing. See, like, she goes back to this thing, what, for the flowers, was it? Yeah. Okay. The forget me not. Right. So she goes back to the flowers, for, for the flowers. She Donna comes- says she gets out of the car that way, by the way. Donna. People with bad backs got to get out of the car that way. Why? Because it puts less pressure on your back. I'm not saying you have a bad back, Donna. He's just saying that people do this. People disappear all the time. You have a bad back. I got a bad back. Is that how you get out of the car? I try to. But (laughs) I don't think about it that much. I need to take a video of this. Yeah, right. Here she goes. Why does she need a hanky? Okay. Just. There you go, Blake. Yeah, but no, you it, it's it more sooner? wind. It's not. But you wanted this kind of an effect sooner. Yeah, I wanted something more audible. Okay. I appreciate that. Because to me, it sounds like wind. And okay, there. Yep, yeah, there we go. Black. Love. Once. Traveling at night, I fell asleep in the passenger seat of the moving car. I like this. I love this Lulled portion. the noise and the motion into an illusion of serene wakelessness. Why? And the driver because it, too fast. it actually describes to you what it could world, possibly feel like. You, you've all, most everybody's been in a car accident. The sickening sensation of falling at high speed. That is as close as I can come to describing what I experienced. Most everybody's been on a roller coaster. You know that feeling. Short. Now, part of me always want, wanted the episode to start like this. With her waking up with after her waking she touched up. the stones? Yeah. I, instead of showing the mountains, show this. But knowing how, like, I don't know, because it's... Yeah, I, I get you. you but and then and then you cut, you know, you cut back because right now you think if you didn't know any better, you would think that this is just regular modern time. Like if they just if they if this is you how the show opened Claire. up, you would be clear. Yeah, you'd You're think right. okay, well, oh, she woke up. She clearly doesn't. There's no reason why she. But I don't think you were established. That's the thing is, we as the viewers needed to be established in the 1940s so that it does shock us. You know, had we not known that this was a time traveling show. We go through this with Claire. We were just in the 40s. Not Where really. Was the car? Not really. What do you mean? Well, I mean, yes, you're right. You're but looking I mean, at vases. Like, but I Read agree. No, I, I agree. But I think to open up the show, seeing this, you'd be like, wow, why? Okay, why? She says, what? Like, where? What? Like, why is she saying that? Mm-hmm. Why is she stumbling through? Why is she waking up in front of this, in front of this stone? What's going on? Like, I am pulled in You here. might need to do a little recut of your own. I, I might, actually. That <laughs> might be fun. A little patron-only thing. Yeah, right. Actually, that might be a fun thing to do. I got you. Like, do it the way that I would do it? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of in on cut, that. And then there's Blake's cut. I'm kind of in on that. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'll do the voiceovers. Yeah, No, like, all the voiceovers could stay the same. Yeah, you're right. I love this dress. I couldn't wear it, though, with that keyhole. No, no. 
all the cleavage. Right? Now think of this. You'd be like, whoa, what the hell was that? You have this music. And then like, what? Wait, what? Soldiers? When confronted with the impossible, Here you go. the rational mind will grope for the logical. Perhaps I had stumbled onto the set of a cinema company filming a costume drama of some sort. Oof, oof, oof. Stunt double. I do not sound that damsel in distress when I fall. <laughs> Like, this would be interesting. But there was no logical reason for actors to fire live ammunition. Here we go, Bear. Right, exactly. This was, uh, you can't tell me this wouldn't be an amazing opening. <laughs> you cannot tell me that. <laughs> well, first and foremost, you fall back in love with Bear McCreary if you hadn't already from the Dance of the Druids because you're like, bagpipes are in! <laughs> All my fellow Celtic heritage friends... We're like, yes. Oh, her belt fell off. Poor thing. Oh, no. They're coming. This sets up everything for you as a viewer. It's gonna, it's showing you that it's going to go back in time. We have the Scottish music bang in here. We're running through. We're, we're running for our lives. We're trying to survive. The good phonetic camera movement. And then it even shows you the, the brightness. And then, boom. Frank. No. But it's not Frank. And then you'd cut it to black, right there. What the devil are you doing? That's what you would do. I can't wait to see this. That cut. would be friggin' the, awesome. The cut. Even his face, how he contorts it differently for uh, Black Jack uh, Randall. Uh, uh, yep. Who the bloody hell are you? Does BJR have thicker brows? Ooh, that's a good point. Look I don't know. Them. Or does he just furrow Rambo's them? Boy. Captain of His Majesty's Eighth Dragoons. So when Frank mentions that name later on, you realize, oh my God, she ran into this guy. Oh man. Who are you? My husband's expecting me. He'll come looking for me if I'm not back in 10 minutes. Your husband? What's his name? What is his name? Frank. Frank Wood. Frank Beecham. He's a teacher. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Frank Beecham, the teacher's wife. You must think me the fool. <laughs> You'll be well advised to tell me exactly who you are and why you are here. <laughs> Adam! You will find my patience is not infinite. Get off me, you bastard. <clears throat> oh, that's real spit right in the face. Uh, the speech of a lady. Ugh, hopefully she brushed her teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I choose the fool. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Draw it? What'd you say? Draw what? Good night. I wanted it to be a dream, but I knew it wasn't. And if nothing else, my erstwhile savior fairly reeked of odors too foul to be part of any dream. <laughs> I just love the dichotomy of the vibrant colors, you know, when when they in the when, like in the difference between the forties and and the seventeen hundreds here. Oh, there he is. There's your boy. Okay, so she just said that Murtaugh smelled bad. Imagine how bad this room smells. Oh, I must be so stinky. <laughs> I trust you're able to see me now. I decided to continue using my maiden name. If they intended to ransom me, I didn't want to lead them back to Frank. Claire. Claire Beecham. That's right. And just what the hell do you think you're doing? Hi. She was having words with a certain captain of dragoons with whom we are acquainted. There seemed to be some question as to whether the lady was or was not a. What was the lady's position in this discussion? 
Avi, no. I am not. We can put it to the test. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rupert. But impeccable casting yeah. for these Highlanders. I mean, honestly, how beautifully they brought these characters to life and were able to have such genuine banter, right. even without knowing each other beforehand. Escape was my chief concern, but I had no idea where I was. And trying to find the road back to Inverness in the gathering darkness felt like a fool's errand. Mm. First time we hear Jamie. The wisest course of action would have been to keep my head down, my mouth shut. Yeah, okay, Claire. Sure. <laughs> we we know that don't work with uh, Claire Fraser. <laughs> Right. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Oh, there it is. Stand aside at once. You break his arm if you do it like that. You have to get the bone of the upper arm in the correct position before it slips back into joint. Nope. Not my job. This is some good prosthetic work here, too. With the shoulder. Hold him steady. This is gonna suck, Jamie. <laughs> Angus's face. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That sound oh. unnecessary. <laughs> oh, sound effects stop. Oh there it is. Nope. Oh yeah. I like how she said it was the worst part, and then she did like five more things. I know. <laughs> it doesn't hurt anymore. It will. We tend her for about a week. We need a sling. That's what it was like when our daughter Fetch me a long piece of cloth dislocated her elbow. Oh my god. She was in so much pain, and then the doctor popped it right back in. She was fine. You're going to guess you've done this before? I'm a nurse. Not a wet nurse. <laughs> <laughs> I just love how he looks at her like, oh, really? That's why you have that shirt. Move the joint for two or three days. And you begin to use it again. Very and also, what would a wet nurse have to do with understanding how hurt. shoulders work? I know. compresses on it daily. All right. How does that feel? Yes, sir. Thank you. You're Megan right. Hill says, yeah, but Claire ain't right. about that keep my head down life. <laughs> oh. This theme is so pretty, too. It's just so simple. Jamie and Claire's theme? Yeah. Yep. Simple and true. Well, right now it's in its simple form, but of course right. we get to hear the lush orchestration. And just look at that. Becky, like you were talking about the lighting. Yep. Where's the city? It should be visible from here. Oh, Claire, honey. In the mesh. You're looking straight at it. Silly goose. There were no electric lights as far as the eye could see. So I could see why they they, they picked this route. You know, why they did. Because they kind of want... You want They want to be clear thinking that this is still, like, modern times. Mm hmm then maybe she just stumbled into the this weird Scottish equivalent of an Amish village. <laughs> the Scottish equivalent of equivalent of the village. Yeah, yeah, M Night Shyamalan. Yeah. Okay. Um, I kind of get why they did that. I still think that the opening would have been better served the way that I would cut it. <laughs> Careful! What are you trying to do? I'll get my pop to cover you. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Oh. You're stinky and you're like coming <laughs> close to me. And you're wrapping your stinky thing around me. Do you guys have Febreze? <laughs> <laughs> you're wrapping your stinky wet thing around me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> look at her. She's like, oh, oh God. 
so much bo. <laughs> He's so proud. Yeah. And she's like, <laughs> I can't even smell thinking? it to my mouth. <laughs> what does that taste like? Did you have pork? <laughs> Oh, look at her eyes. <laughs> Can we stop a Yankee candle and get a car freshener? Is, is there a CVS around here? Uh. <laughs> oh, God, that was funny. So for people just joining in on Facebook right now, we are in the middle of watching episode one, season one of Outlander. We're doing a fun rewatch together. We are at the, let's see, what minute mark? Does it even say? We have 15, 15 14 left. 14 left, yes. This shot. Yeah. The, the hues of pinks and blues. Yep. And just the flying mud from the horses. Yep. As you said, very cinematic. It's, it's just more detailed. It's more, there's more care to it. it there's more like... Um, Hey, there's more. It's more dynamic. Mm-hmm. Um, in later seasons, it, it just becomes very simply shot, mm-hmm. um, and the use of light isn't as good. And you know, I hate to say this, but it, since Steve McNutt left the, sh- left the show, the use of light just has not been as good. We need to write him a letter uh. saying we miss you. Oh, oh, there's that Mount foreshadowing again. <laughs> in case you forgot. I know this place. <laughs> <laughs> you can't afford, have you? <laughs> yes. In the 17th and 18th centuries, you'd have often found a uh, British army patrol up there. It's like Rolodexing in Claire's that mind. Rock, the one that looks like a cock's tail? It has a name. God bless you. <laughs> the English, they, they use it for ambushes. They could be lying in wait right now. It's a funny place for an ambush, right enough. I like Jamie's hair this length. As does everyone else, because this, this is the right length. This is the handsome. Like I want to run my fingers through it. I can't even try to do Gallic. No, no, I wouldn't even try. But I do like the fact that they do not have subtitles here. Love that. Agreed. I didn't love it at first, though. Really? Yeah, and I appreciate that they worked with a a coach. With the dialect and everything, but yep. I was very frustrated. I was Claire being like, what is happening? And that, that feels to me like the point, though, right? Like, yeah. they, they wanted you in that same mental space. Mm-hmm. Here we go. He just throws her off the horse. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even say anything. Just pushes her off. How did I not realize that before? <laughs> yeah, get out of here. She's like smelling the sweet grass, <laughs> breathing for the first time. <gasps> oh my god, thank god he did that. Alright, see you later. I'm gonna Goodbye. skedaddle out of here. Stop by CDS. She's yeah. still in her shoes. I know I'm in Scotland, but anybody got some Irish spring? <laughs> <laughs> Love this song. Yeah, it's a good tune. Laura Robertson says, Jamie's hair and face look best when they're sweaty, dirty, and bloody. (laughs) Totally agree, Laura. Does Jamie have like a, a special Claire tracker? Like, how, how in God's name did he find her? He's a Highlander and he like lives out in the woods. He's yeah. a good tracker. And the thing is, like in later seasons, he has like a lob, and I'm not about the lob life with Je- with Jamie. I like this. I like this length. Well, this is not a wick. Right. You like Sam Hewen's hair? Yeah. Dyed red. Not yes. With you. Yes, you are. Ross, are you going to cut my throat if I don't? I know. But you don't look that heavy. <laughs> Thanks. <Now> you want <laughs> That's it's a real entry level com. Ooh, serious chin porn. Oh my God, so much what chin does porn. Chin porn mean? Right there. 
her chin. I don't do that to you. I should start doing that when you mm. upset me. Yes. Like put, this evening you know. when you weren't getting me tacos. <laughs> Mary, Mary's been me. mad at me. Yeah, I wanted tacos on Monday, and he's like, I don't want to get tacos now. And I said, no, no, Fine. no, I didn't say that. Fine, he wouldn't get tacos, but he said, I'll make you tacos tomorrow. And then Tuesday, yesterday, came and went. And let's, today, let's also give some went. context. It was 10 o'clock at night when she said this to me. So what? Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Drop the mic. <laughs> so stinky again. Maybe even two. At least she's not wrapped up. Who's that guy? Who's the blonde? Oh, I don't know. That's what you think. Look at him. Yeah, it's random, uh, random Highlander number one. Oh. Okay, Claire. Let's begin. She's like, just drink up. Yeah, right. just stop boozing. Whatever. Oof. She doesn't cough. Nope. Claire's got this, man. Well, she's not, you know, taking a toke off the bong. No. <laughs> I would hope not. She's in Scotland. Did they even do that then? Look at there goes the blonde guy yeah, again. Yeah, just randos, bunch of randos. The law, we call those law carriers. Mm. See here again with with the really dynamic light with this with the moon pouring through. Now we all know that's actually just a real light, but just the way that it's been shot, it's excellent. Stop! Help! He's going over! Oh, move over! <laughs> Help me get him up! Come on! Come on, guys! <clears throat> I'm not that heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Donna said everyone had to drink out of that one vessel. Everyone's backwash oh, was in that God. water. Wound. Oh, gosh. Could have said it's a clean exit. I think the round's gone straight through the muscle. I don't think it's serious, but he's lost a lot of blood. He'll need to be disinfected before I can dress it properly. Disinfect? Disinfect? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it must be cleaned of dirt to protect it from germs. No. <laughs> this is like when I talk to you when you get cut. <laughs> This is literally the conversation. <laughs> I love when they look at each other like. Alcohol. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, yeah, I got it. <gasps> I got that. Welcome <laughs> back. You're not all right. Did you tell her badly you were bleeding? You're lucky you're not dead, falling and fighting and throwing yourself off horses. Mm. Right, I need a sterile bandage and some clean cloth. <laughs> You're like, have you smelled us? <laughs> say, Roosevelt Christ. Let me say this really long thing again. <laughs> That's totally not natural to anybody's real cadence. <laughs> <laughs> she should have just said "hrumph" because that's another thing that I love that is always written, like in other yeah. books. H H R U M P H. Lift him up. Come on, you goddamn bloody bastard! <laughs> <laughs> Look at their reactions. What's wrong with your mind? Because when you turn your head. As Paul says, let a woman be silent. You can mind your own bloody business. <laughs> so <can save> Paul. <laughs> and if you move so much as a single muscle while I'm tying this bandage, I'll bloody throttle you. Ah. Lindley Key says yes, we need an it. Outlander voiceover dub by Blake. Oh my Blake god. Edition. Maybe that can be in your, your cut. Yeah, right. The voiceovers would be you. We'll stay long enough for you to stimulate. It'd, be, it'd just be me on the. Oh my god, guys! It's wicked dark in here. It's wicked dark out here. Me? See all them trees? It's weird. The officer you encountered. He won't give up so easily. He demands the redcoats here about. Send patrols out in every direction by now. Why did they just kill Blackjack Randall right then and there? You know like Randall. Murta, like when he had the chance. Blackjack Randall, that is. Just stick his, stick his knife right in the back of his well, skull. Goodbye. First off, you'd be lucky if you could actually have killed him. Like, well, he knocked him out. 
He knocked him out. But then he'd have a huge price on his head for killing, killing him. Yeah. And I just feel like... I don't know, these Highlanders, they don't like to kill people. I agree, Marta should have just killed him then. Because he already knows the history. Yeah, what story would there be? That, that's also true. That's, that's what we call plot armor. That's about all I can do. I love the looks they're giving each other. Oh, well, at yes. least what he does to her. She's not really... No, she... Look at that. Mm, mm-hmm. The little pursed lips a little bit there. Okay, I'll get you. I'll get you. Thank you, Shasta. Truly. Oh, there you go. All right, well, on your horse, soldier. There's that first, like, ooh, that was a good flutter in my tummy. <laughs> and that's why Claire's voiceover is not done by Blake Larson. Yeah. It's a wicked good flutter in my stomach, guy. I got all the feels. You, you, you gave me gooseies. <laughs> I do like this piece, too. Mm-hmm. It just moves with them as they're, like, caravanning on their way. Oh. I've been here with Frank two days ago. Or was that in the future? Love that. How could I remember something that hadn't happened yet? This is an interesting shot. So no, far, she's miserable. I she's wrapped up again. Threatened, kidnapped, and nearly raped. And somehow, I knew that my journey had only just begun. Oh, I just love all of the music in season one so season much. Season one soundtrack's phenomenal. Right? It really is. Both soundtracks. Part A and Part yes. B. And that's the end, ladies and gents. Oh, so, so good. Let's uh, turn this off before we get in trouble with uh, music bits. So, yes, ladies and gents, we are going to be doing occasional podcasts of this sort um, with rewatches. But in general, we are planning on celebrating all of the previous episodes of Outlander, focusing on three episodes a week. So this, the week that this is coming out, today is September 18th, 2019. This week we are going to be focusing on episodes one through three. Yes, on all of our social channels. Yes. You'll see it. Um, So our older blog posts from the original time we podcasted about episode 101, um, any other you know, oh, blog the podcast posts, episodes, everything. everything. Uh, Did I say blog posts and not podcasts? Yes. Oh, sorry. You That's know what okay. I mean. I got you. I got you. <laughs> um, do you also want to do like all of our old interviews at the same time too? Like, or do you want to just do episode by episode? I mean, we'll throw in the interviews as they come along. Okay. Um, but you know, we want to make sure that they're going in the right succession because you might have a friend who has never watched Outlander before and you want them to come on board. Well, now's the time, especially because seasons one and two are available on Netflix and most people have access to Netflix either through their own account or they borrow it from a friend. Wink, (laughs) wink, nudge, nudge. We would love for you to be able to spread the Outlander cast love. You can do that if you're watching this Facebook Live video right now. You can do that by hitting that arrow button below. It says S-H-A-R-E and network it with your friends. Let other people know about Outlander cast. We apologize that we are not yet able to or not ever most likely able to show the video on the screen um, we're just trying to be very careful because we don't own the show Outlander. We don't want to be necessarily doing things that we're not supposed to do. Yes. So the hope is, is that as we do these podcast episodes and Facebook lives that you can join in with us and watch the show with, with us, <laughs> however that might be. So you put it on your television and you have your podcast app or your Facebook app open on your mobile device. And it's like we are sitting next to you on the couch watching Outlander kibitzing about it That's together. Right. And one of the things that I'd like to ask you guys too is what are the episodes that you would like us like to guarantee that you would like us to do commentary tracks on uh as we said earlier in this uh, in this track we we will not be able to do every single episode it's just between kids and sickness and in school and holidays and other podcasts that we have everything uh we, we just won't be able to do every episode uh but if there is if there are a certain number of episodes you think are absolute must watch must have tracks 
let us know, and uh, we will certainly take that into consideration. Um, you know, maybe maybe we can come up with a list on the on the clan gathering or something, uh, and or you can email us. E- email us the ones that you think would be a What's fun. What's our email watch. address for people who don't know? You can email us at outlandercast at gmail dot com, or you can ma- email us at maryandblakemedia at gmail dot com. Either one, you know, either one, and go to maryandblake dot com to check out all of our fantastic podcasts that we do have, including the latest few episodes of Rise Up, the podcast dedicated to Hamilton. And also, please note that This Is Us is returning to our screens uh, on September 24th. And as you all know, Mary and I do a podcast for This Is Us called This Is Us 2. With T-O-O. T-O-O. So uh, look us up on any podcatcher you can ever possibly think of. We're on YouTube. We have everything. It's called This Is Us 2. Uh, and you'll be able to find... And if you don't find us on the podcasts app that you whatever you have, check us on the social. Just it's Mary and Blake. All of the stuff, all of our podcasts are there on Mary and Blake. So be sure to watch This Is Us with us as we all like to cry together. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Yes. And as I said, we are just really excited to be doing this rewatch with you. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Outlander Cast. It is just such a pleasure of ours to be able to share this show that we love uh, with other people. That was the whole reason of starting Outlander Cast is that Blake and I did not know people in real life that wanted to watch the show and talk about it with us. So that's why we began the podcast, the blog, the social media channels. And now we have this amazing of clan of people from all around the world who want to rewatch and chat about this show with us. So mm-hmm. thank you so much in the bottom of our hearts and we will talk with you soon. So for now, my name's Mary. My name's Blake. And you have been listening or watching to Outlander Cast. Well, in episode one, Sassanac. Yeah. There you go.